everybody, it's Kira. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a TBR for the Cramathon Readathon. This is being hosted by Allie over at Hardback Quarter as well as a couple other people. I'll leave her announcement video in the description below. So this is just a, a week readathon that is happening from June 10th to June 17th and it's just a way to cram in some more reading and that's basically the point of it. So they also have a Twitter which I will of course leave on the screen um, so you can follow the Cramathon Twitter and keep updated on what's going on there. I'm sure they'll be reading sprints and stuff like that. And I love readathons as I have figured out. It encouraged me to read some more and because there's sprints going on and I know that other people are reading as well. And I like vlogging it because it also forces me to read even though my life is usually pretty boring. It might be a little bit more exciting now that like I'm home and by the 10th my siblings will be done with school. So like I won't have necessarily have an empty house to myself like I do right now, but you know, that's okay. So I'm here today to share with you guys the books that I'm going to be reading. There are seven challenges and I have seven books picked out and yeah, we'll just get into it. So the first challenge is read a predicted five star read. So this is a book that you believe you will give five stars to. And I don't rate my books on YouTube, but I do try to rate them on Goodreads. So if you're ever curious, you can check out my Goodreads. But the, for this one, I'm going with A Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahir. This actually comes out during the readathon on June 12th, which is the Tuesday of the readathon. I don't have a physical copy right now, but I ordered it from Amazon, so it should be coming as soon as it comes out, slash before it comes out, I'm hoping. And I know that whatever I'm reading that day, I will drop everything to read A Reaper at the Gates because I am so so excited for this book. I have no idea how hyped I am for this book. Like, I am so excited. I recently finished rereading A Torch Against the Night, which is the second book in the series, and so now we have the third book that is coming out, and I just, I know that I'm, it's going to be devastating to my heart, but just so amazing at the same time. So the second one is read a book that is out of your comfort zone. And for me, that is going to be And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. I don't usually read mysteries, like it's just not something that I reach for and my friend got this for me for my birthday like a year or two ago and I just haven't read it yet. So I'm going to be reading this. I've also never read any Agatha Christie. Challenge 3 is a book that has been on your TBR a long time and for that I'm going with Codename Verity by Elizabeth Ween and this I actually started reading earlier this year I think but I just was not in the mood and I'm slightly worried that I won't be in the mood because I've Right now I'm reading a lot of like fantasy and so this is this is historical fiction which I do enjoy but I just haven't read a lot of it recently so I'm but I'm really excited to read this it's I all I know about it is it's about a pilot in World War II and she's like writing some stuff but other than that I don't really know much about it so I'm excited to finally finally know what is going on in this book Number four is a book that is LGBTQ plus own voices. June is Pride Month as we all know and so the creators of the Caramathon wanted to include that in some way. So I will be reading Before I Let Go by, oh boy, I'm going to butcher this, Marike Najkamp. I should have looked up how to say this. Um, I don't know much about this other than it sounds like a girl goes missing or dies but then the boy is trying to figure out there, there's like secrets being held or something. Um, I believe this is Ace representation and the author is, I, I mean you can see here, the author has served as an executive member of We Need Diverse Books, is the founder of Diverse, Diverse YA, like Diversify, and is a founding contributor to YA Misfits, so it's definitely, she's like, sounds very knowledgeable about those kind of struggles and honestly I don't know anything about this but I thought it'd be interesting to pick it up for this readathon. Number five is read something that is not a standard novel. So this could be a graphic novel, an audiobook, a comic book, a novella, poetry, etc. So I picked up The Poet X by Elizabeth, oh boy, Avesito? I don't, I don't know how you say her last name, sorry. Um, but this is a book that is told completely in verse and I'm really, really excited about it. I've heard really great things about it and I'm just so excited. I don't really know what it's about other than poetry and I want to say it's slam poetry and it's told in verse which sounds really fun and I've never read a book told in verse so I'm excited. Challenge six is to read a book that has your favorite, co favorite color on the cover 
And for that, I'm going with This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earl. The, my favorite color is green, and so this has green lettering and a green spine, so I figured I could use that. This is the story of Esther who helped inspire The Fault in Our Stars by John Green and was a large part of the nerd fighter community before she died. And I just haven't read this yet, and I probably could have used this for the book that's been on her TBR for a long time because this has been on my TBR for forever and I just haven't picked it up yet so I'm really really excited to read this. And challenge seven is just to read seven books so this is just kind of you can pick any book you want. And For this I'm actually going with Sold by Patricia McCormick. This is about a girl who gets sold into sex slavery I believe. It's really short um, uh, but it seems like it will be really hard hitting and really important read. I don't know if it's true or not, but I will keep you guys posted if it is or if not. Um, and it's just, yeah, I, it's been on my shelf for forever. I own it, and I'm like, I need to read this. And it's really short, so that'll help with the readathon. So that is everything that I'm reading for the Cramathon. Let me know down below if you guys are planning on joining the Cramathon. It, again, starts on Sunday, June 10th, so you have a little bit of time yet. I'm really excited. I love readathons. They just, they make me so happy. So. If you like to follow me on any of my social media, all my links are in the description as always. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!